Well, it turns out this is going to be one of the easiest parts, or it is one of the easiest parts. I just put the the tap up against with the uh, with the Dewalt drill, and boom. And then now the way I can do that is uh, is by using a two fluted tap, and those are kind of speed taps. They work really well in this situation. You end up uh, making the hole just a little bit larger I mean just a slight bit larger and it'll take to the hole you know just no problem like ducks to water so uh, basically you did that in about 15 seconds that was no sweat okay I've assembled the uh, the pieces together to the two pieces together the base and the tube uh, for the uh, bench pin and now uh, I have to go in and weld uh, a little piece underneath just to make sure that those two pieces stay together. And uh, since it's kind of cold out, uh, I thought it was really a good idea to do a little preheating uh, so that the weld, uh, the weld of nice flow in nice and smooth. Otherwise I end up with a mess and I have to go back and clean it up and you know, it's just a, just a pain. So uh, a little preheating here. Just a little bit, just enough to take it up to, you know, 100 degrees, a couple hundred degrees. And then come in with the welder. Little one inch bead on each side. Here, let me bring it in a little closer and you can kind of see. And the cool part about that, and I, this was really my intention when I when I created the design, was is that the upper part of the design whoop, got a little bit a little bit of uh, heat uh, back in here, but that the line is nice and clean. And uh, mostly I did that because I'm not all that good at welding. I admit, I admit, but uh, you know I did a pretty good job here. Just laid in a nice bead, and then. Uh, then we have uh, uh, oh, 10 of them or so done at this point. And uh, we add one more to the stack. Oop. Then we get to uh, go ahead and continue. All right, so now we're cutting these little one-inch tabs off of a uh, piece of uh, one-inch bar stock. And... Uh, each one of those tabs is going to have a hole drilled in it, and then also uh, the adjuster will go on to that. So you'll see a little later. So this little sharp edge sticking out here bothered me, so uh, I decided to c cut off the tip of that. And the way we're going to do it is to drop it in um, in the uh, the uh, shear. And this shear will cut up to quarter inch, so it it's cuts pretty thick stuff. Probably, let's see if I can just set this in like that. Oh, look at that. Nice. Put my finger in there. Not put my finger in the shear, but hold down the piece. And then just clip off that one edge and end up with um, just taking a little corner off, just to kind of mellow that corner out a little bit. So that's the next step in that process. We've got about uh, 15 of them here, and I got another 10 or so to go. And we'll uh, then we go in and and grind off the edges and kind of round them off and make them look nice. Uh, drill a small hole into the tab using this little jig that I built, and uh, and it's just a, a bit undersized of uh, 5 16 so that we can tap the hole, and then we drill another one that's. Um, that's uh, at 5 16 exactly. So we've got one that's 5 16 and one that's. Uh, I'm tapping the holes pretty simple uh, using my little Dewalt. Uh, since the hole is, uh, is uh, just slightly undersized for a tap, uh, it goes through pretty quickly, pretty easily. We're, we don't have a whole lot of pressure against the. Uh, 
against the threads so uh, they don't have to be a full thread. So there we go for now. Okay, now comes the complicated part. I've uh, I've built this this small jig to take the ring and slide it in just over the edge there and kind of square it up to the edge so that it meets the edge nice and evenly. Then the two little tabs, uh, one's got the screw uh, or the threads on it and the other one's loose. The two tabs go in, oops, yep, now I got them right. Uh, <laughs> and that's the complicated part is getting everything set up so that it fits. Uh, they go in just like that, and and the the bolt uh, m maintains the uh, the centeredness of the holes, and then uh, drag in a little bolt clip right here, and grab the bottom of it, making sure that uh, that it's at least level with that, and not too high, and then making sure that everything is kind of lined up there, which that looks pretty good. Let's slide it back just a bit. There we go. Take the nut out, or the bolt out. This is actually the bolt that uh, we're going to use later on in the, uh, in the uh, building of it. And uh, preheat it just a little bit, but it, you know, we've uh, been welding on it already, so it's already fairly preheated, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Let's turn on the welder. welding hat which was over at the other end of the barn and uh, go ahead and weld this thing together. And we got one side welded. Flip it over. Do the other side and we're set to go. Pretty simple little bead, no big deal, and it uh, and it holds it together, and it's beginning to become a completed unit. So take the clip off, and here comes the complicated part because 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 now the whole thing is just kind of locked in there. It's real tight, and so that's what these little handles are for and this handle here but it's just a little bit too close so I'm going to put my other glove on it's just a bit too close to that weld and uh, it's pretty hot so grab it <laughs> and yank it off there we go and there it is now we have to do is split it right down the center there and then this whole thing just kind of expands just a little bit then put the bolt back in oh yeah we got to put the we got to weld the washer on too but that is later so as simple as it might look this is probably the most complicated jig of them all uh, and basically uh, I'm gonna have to do it because it's hot is I've got to take this little clamp off. Can I get it off? <laughs> yeah, it comes off. I know it. Oh, I know. Pop the screw. And this is like a hash job sort of a jig, just because I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. Now that I know that it works, I'll probably come back in and do a really clean job at some point in the future. But for right now, I'm going to do these, uh, I don't know how many I'm doing, 15 or 16 of these. And this one is having a hard time getting off. Come on, baby. It seems like it wants to come straight off. There it goes. And uh, really, the, the job here is, uh, if you look, uh, here's the... This is what I want. I want to weld the little cap to this, but uh, 
this has got to be able to spring. Let me uh, let me grab one that's already been done, one that's not hot that's been done, and you can see that this is springs. Just let me bring it in close. This springs just a little bit, and so basically this is going to kind of create a clamp, so it'll clamp around the tubes and hold it in place once it's there. And later on, uh, you'll kind of get an idea of where we're going with that. But at this point, this needs to be split. So I'm going to take it over and put it on the, uh, on the uh, metal grinder or uh, metal chop saw and, and run the blade right down the center of this, which is in a sense a little dangerous. And so I had to build this, uh, this little... Uh, of course, we got to get it on right. And I've got my leather hammer over here. Just pop it on. Pops on like nobody's business. <laughs> there it goes. And so it can really only fit in one place. So that's nice and snug right there. And then put a little screw in the end back here just to hold everything in place while it's being ground. And... There we are. We're set to go. Now we take it over to the grinder and uh, the uh, chop saw, metal chop saw. And this thing basically just kind of lands in here and barely is tightened up. Uh, and I pretty much hold it stable with this. And you'll see the reason why I have the camera back so far is because this thing throws sparks like nobody's business. Uh, and you'll see in a second uh, its action. So we'll get it lined up a little bit and drop it in place put headphones on because this is noisy takes a while but eventually it pops and so now this this little part here is spread open just a little bit and now it's really hot so uh, I have to kind of let it cool a bit but uh, let's go back over to the bench okay Pliers, grab it. Try to get it back off. Oh, but take the screw off. I keep forgetting that screw is there. And it's really the only thing that holds the thing in place because uh, otherwise the, the grinder would just throw it off, off of the tube. And now this one looks like it's going to come off pretty easy. So, there we go. It's spread. The interior is cut. And it's ready to have the uh, washer welded on the outside or in the top. And that'll be the next step. But we're going to do uh, 15 or 16 more of these first. And then, uh, then we'll get to that next step probably tomorrow. The next part of this process is uh, welding the, the clamp to the large washer that's been uh, elongated. You can kind of see the elongation that happened a little while ago. So... You know, I built this little hand jig right here, and it just makes it so much easier and so much more accurate because at one point I was having trouble keeping the, the three uh, bolts uh, lined up. So now I just slide it down, and this little finger kind of sticks right into where that bolt hole is. You can kind of see it slide in there. And then uh, drop the, uh, the clamp in. And go ahead and push it up against the washer and tighten the clamp up. And so the whole thing kind of sits nice and snug up against the washer. Well, not as snug as I want, though. Snugger. There we go. Okay. Nice and snug up against the washer. Then uh, drop the whole handheld unit right in here. And then, and then just cut a little bead right across this one side so that the rest of this is free to expand and contract. And that's where the, uh, the little uh, wing nut comes in. So let's go ahead and just uh, set up a, do a weld.
you kind of see that happen. And really, I should preheat this because uh, it, it is a bit cool. But, uh, you know, if you preheat it, you end up with a really nice weld. If you don't preheat it, well, you don't end up with a really nice weld. So we're just going to shoot it like it is and go with it. Well, and now, here's what happened when you don't preheat it. I didn't get a full weld in there. So, I think I got enough. We'll have to look at it later. Once it cools down a bit. So, it's uh, welded. And then, unscrew the uh, wing nut. And the whole thing just pops right off. And there's our platform and clamp that uh, goes in place with uh, and then the next week go ahead and set up the um, the wooden platform for the uh, for the um, bench pin. All right let's make uh, you know 10 or 15 more of those. <laughs>